What started as a five acre fire has now spread to more than 100 acres here in Albany and officials believe that it started near this bridge. So fittingly, the fire is being called the covered bridge fire. Deep into the White Mountain National Forest, a fire is burning tonight. The flames can be seen from miles away. It was spotted Saturday afternoon, but due to steep terrain and fading daylight, crews haven't been able to contain it. It's unclear how the covered bridge fire started, as more than 100 acres burn along the Saco River. So far, the Forest Service says no buildings have been threatened. What is unusual is that the fires will still burn deeper because we haven't had any substantial rain, so the ground is still pretty dry. Albany is one of at least a half dozen towns where brush fires burned across New Hampshire today. State Fire Marshal Bill Degnan says two of them were started by lawnmowers. A lawnmower has a hot exhaust and you, if you hit a rock with it, it can create a spark. Fire danger is currently moderate, but it could change to high with warm temperatures this week. With the fall and dry leaves, it's not unusual to have brush fires this time of year, but they are burning deeper into the woods. The drought is still playing a role because it still burns fairly deep. You know, there's some areas of the state that get more rain than others, and so the top surface might have some dampness to it, but you, you dig down deep and it's still dry. Safety officials are urging people to be careful when getting rid of ashes from wood stoves, and permits are needed for any outside burning. Back in Albany, the Forest Service expects the fire will be fully out later this week. In the meantime, they have a lot of work to do. Fire crews will be back here first thing in the morning to contain this fire. In the meantime, they are asking people to avoid this area. In Albany, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.